in our research we focus on, on issues we cannot really elucidate from the wild. We take blood samples from those polar bears uh, and it's been done voluntarily. And we use that blood to analyze what we call biochemical and hematological parameters. We use training in a variety of different ways here. Uh, the polar bear blood draw specifically is something that our team took a few years to actually get. We're one of a handful of zoos that actually have been able to do this. The number one food source for polar bears in the wild is seal. We managed to come across seal oil and we thought we would give it a shot to see if the bears responded to it, which they did. The bear doesn't have to sit and hold while we're taking the blood and wait for its reward. We can just continuously give that seal oil during the process. With us being able to take blood voluntarily from our bears, we're able to see in a very controlled setting, which we know what they're eating, we know how much time they spend sleeping, walking, playing. We're able to look at the bears that we have here and compare them to their wild counterparts. The information we are gathering here can be quite uh, uh, solid and, and very useful because that type of information is used for modeling studies by the University of Toronto to study polar bear ecology, but also to identify which area is suitable for polar bear ecology and which is not. Currently, with the shifting polar bear populations from the southern of Hudson Bay up north, and they're shifting from the western parts of Greenland to the west, where Ellesmere Island is, we think that it's really important to know what those values are and what kind of nutrients and, and the amounts are required to successfully rear a young polar bear. The Toronto Zoo's key mandates are conservation, education and research. It's key for us to try to help save species in the wild. So through that, if we can use our polar bears looking at nutrition, reproductive studies, behavioral assessments, it's going to be key to then link with partners field biologists working in the field to ultimately try to save polar bears in the wilds. We work so closely with partners, the University of Toronto, University of Guelph, York University, and other partners like Polar Bear International. We need to have this collective approach if we want to have any chance of saving these species from becoming extinct.